This is a quick movie review since um, I just watched it right now. I don't feel like doing anything, I guess, official, anything. No intro, none of that shit. No screen caps, none of that. I just saw the movie The Haunting of uh, Molly Hartley. Um, so I ended up putting it on, just thinking I'll probably turn it off after 15 minutes or just kind of like skip through the whole movie like when I was watching Quarantine the night before. So the movie starts out with some girl like following some stupid love notes and she gets to his cabin and there's a boy, oh my god I love you, happy 18th birthday, oh my god we're gonna get married someday, blah blah blah, and then the father is like, get in the car, get in here, oh, oh I'm gonna, and kills this girl. And that's just how that movie starts off and then goes to some other girl's life and she has like a dream of her being stabbed in the chest and she wakes up she's like, oh shit, oh, no, wait. Alright, so she moves to a new town, move, um, it moves to a new town, goes to a new school, it's for like really smart people apparently or some shit. Uh, turns out that wasn't really a dream, her mom actually tried stabbing her one time in the bathroom, well she didn't try, actually did, she obviously didn't die from it. Um, so there's some supernatural curse shit that's like the that these people give like their kid's soul to the devil. So <clears throat> when the so when the kid turns 18, then it becomes like a server of Satan or some shit like that. And um yeah, so the movie kind of goes on with like you know it's a teen movie. I'm in school. I'm you know kind of like the outcast because I just moved here. No one really likes me, but the popular boy likes me. <sighs> uh, um. What else is there? Ooh, bitches. Jesus. Anyway, this girl starts having, like, um, flashes and... Not flashes, but, like, um... What the fuck do you call that? Um, random visions and headaches and panic attacks and all that stuff. And every time she starts hyperventilating, like, I start going... <laughs> myself, because I'm trying, like, to regulate her breathing. Like, come on, just... Get, you know, um... Let's see, what else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, she makes friends with this girl who's like, all about Jesus, who's trying to save her and all that stuff, and there's a lot of shit just happens. Um, the popular boy has a party at his house, and the girl who's been with him is there, and she threatens the main character girl, and arguments, the main character girl somehow has like Hulk strength, and like, freaking breaks the girl's arm or something, and then she just goes away, and the, the main character girl, Molly, obviously, it keeps getting, like, um, visions of her mom coming to her and, like, attacking her, and the dad's like, no, 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 the mom was, like, in the bed and, uh, in Santa's the home the whole time, I called the place, it's, it's real, I swear to God, uh, and then, <clears throat> you know, finally, at one point, the mom shows up, like, in the house when the dad's not there, and she's actually there, and she ends up killing her own mother because she just throws her off the stairs, kind of like the omen type of thing. Um, uh, and then, yeah, so then, yeah, when it's close to her birthday, it's like everyone in the world knows it's her birthday. I'm like, okay. Um, the religious girl tries baptizing her because she's like, oh, I want to have salvation, I want to you know, be saved, all that stuff. And... <sighs> okay, I'm tired. <sighs> she tries baptizing her, and then she's like, oh, is it done? They're like, no, oh, my mom's a nurse at that place where your mom's crazy. I believe her, and tries to drown her, and then, you know, then she freaking just, like, throws her, shits her head, so she pretty much, like, not, I don't want to say die, but she probably just, had, like, passed out, but she ended up passing out into the baptismal, like, pool thingy, so I obviously die. Um... That happens, and then the, she runs into the guy, and the guy's like, um, what do you call that? The boy's like, oh, let me help you, all that shit. So he goes and, like, drives to her house, and he's like, oh, wait, I'll be right back. And then she calls, like, the psychiatrist from the school, like, I'm like, oh, wow, really? And so then, um, the... Like, she starts looking for the guy, because she was like, a crash-bang-boom shit going on. And he goes, 
I mean, she goes, sorry, the main character, Molly, she goes, finds a guy in the pool house with a cake and says, happy birthday, Molly. And there's a freaking candle, and she's like, alright, what the hell? I said to, like, drive me home or take me somewhere safe, and you're just gonna have, like, a fucking cake there? What the hell? I understand it's my birthday, but goddamn. And then, um, the guy's like, oh, trying to, like, sm like smooth talk his way out. I stutter. And then the psychiatrist lady comes, and she's like, oh my god, I'm so glad you, you got my, uh, Phone message. She's like, phone message? What phone message? In the world's worst acting way. A phone message? I didn't get a phone message. I'm like, lady, do you, does your head have to move so much? Because my mom sneezes downstairs. And anyway, um, I shit my pants over that. Anyway, so then, you know, they, um, the psychiatrist lady ends up being the frickin', ends up being pretty much Satan, I guess. I don't think that's really her character. Bless you again, Mom. Um, she, you know, she's the one who was there when the, the mother was giving birth to her in that public bathroom, and she was like, you know, for exchange for your kid's life, by his 18th birthday, your kid's gonna be, you know, a spawn of Satan type of thing. How you say yes to that, I don't know. It's like, I want to have my kid just for 18 years, you know, until my kid goes, holy shit, now nah, I'm gonna go crazy, I'm gonna kill it. That's Oh, my mom's yelling at the TV now. The Olympics makes her crazy. No, wait, I'm not 18 anymore. She's not going to kill me. Alright. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, the movie ends with, like, of course it's always a fucking grandfather clock, you know? <laughs> I, I would love to see these horror films have, like, a cuckoo clock, like, chiming in at midnight. Oh, 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 oh. That's freaking shit starts falling around my room. I just start, like, you know, going off at the sound of midnight. Instead of, like, a boom, boom. That's a little too suspenseful. I think, like, a ah, 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 would be hilarious. Anyway, midnight comes, and it's either kill your dad, and then you'll be able to be, you know, normal kid, you know. So instead, she stabs herself repeatedly, but it already passed midnight, so, uh, sh you know, obviously... If you know, like, if you watch the movie, she stabbed herself, but, like, no blood starts coming out. Just like a tiny bit of blood at the end of the sword. A sword? Oh, my God. I've been working on a sword prop, <laughs> prop for a while, so the word sword's been in my head. Um, end of the knife. And then she just stabs herself, and then, like, it kind of ends. And it's graduation time! And she's standing at the podium as Val Victorian. Well, actually, before that, you see, like like, a woman's feet, like, walking in, in a sand asylum, you think that's her, turns out it's not her, the dad is in the insane asylum, because he's probably trying to kill himself or something, he admitted to the murders or whatever, fuck, some bullshit like that, and, you know, the doctor's like, you want to see your dad, and she's like, nah, I don't want to see my dad, and the doctor's like, you sure you want to see your dad, you know, it's your dad, you sure about that? And she's like, yeah, I have to move on, you know, from seeing my dad. I was like, all right then. <laughs> the doctor was like, the fuck are you talking about? So then it's graduation time, and <clears throat> and so then, you know, she's like, I'm the Victorian, everything's okay, and then that's how the movie ends. Just, you know, she's the spawn of Satan, Every, everyone's school is okay with it, since that school, like, Everyone knows everything. One of those schools were, well, it's high school, so news always travels fast, but it's a little too much with that one. Uh, yeah, so that's how that movie ended. Uh, I rated it on Netflix like a two star out of five. I gave it two instead of one star, because I gave an extra star for effort. Um, I don't know why they would call it The Haunting of Molly. It's like, I, I get it because, like, it seemed like Satan or something was trying to come out of her, but. It's like, you know, you think of haunting, you're thinking of like a ghost or a spirit really trying to get to her. I don't know why, because when I saw this, it made me think of um, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, which, it was all, that movie was alright also. Cause it was based on a true story, which made me go, Shazam, alright. Um, that one, which also starred, um, let me click on it, what's her name from that movie? Uh, Jennifer Carpenter from Quarantine. Yeah. At least with Emily Rose, she had to overact. Oh, I said it, bitch. 
anywho, um, uh, I, I think I'm going to go back to watching some comedies now, because before this I was watching Eddie Izzard, having some good time with that, so, um, yeah. Uh, I think tomorrow I should be expecting some uh, crappy DVDs coming in, so there should be more uh, actual movie reviews coming up. Especially from one TV show turned into movie. Yeah, you can kind of guess what that is. Anyway, goodbye for now.